Some will tell you that it's Adidas, after the German cobbler Adidas, or who founded Adidas. the company. But I have a secret to tell you. I have visited the headquarters where they have a framed copy of this single. <laughs> that, of course, is the first two words of Run DMC's single from 1986. So, America, you have permission to say Adidas. Because Rev Run says it? Well, yeah. Okay. Duh. But will you say Adidas? Mark King is brand new president of Adidas North America in charge of selling a European brand in a booming American market. Mark, help me understand. Why move your design headquarters for the entire company from the sleepy hamlet of Herzog and Alrock, Germany, to Brooklyn? I think it's simple to make it more relevant in the U.S. I think we're finding it very hard to be miles and miles away across an ocean and say we can relate to high school kids. The core of the market is high school kids, so I think we've got to be here to be relevant. Do you think that's actually the challenge that Adidas has seen here as a European brand, or is it just not on anybody's radar at all? No, I think it's everything. I, I think European brands here mm -hmm. that are, really want to compete at the highest level struggle mm -hmm. because there's a European mentality that comes out of Germany and it's tried to, you try to apply it here. It's very difficult because of cultural issues and difference in geography. What is that? What are they getting wrong? I think everything. I think we need to focus more on the United States consumer and athlete. We have to be here local, which is what we're doing. We're moving a lot of resources here. Mm -hmm. I think it's design. I think it's the nuance of messaging. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to use a global message around soccer or football and try to make it relevant here. And there's so many sports here. It's got to be here. Now yeah. you're going to go after more American sports. Yeah, so, I mean, the, the, if, you, if you look, uh, let me pull up this chart. Uh, we're looking at global growth in, in apparel over the last three years, you know, and you can see uh, Adidas, of course, had a very good year in 2014, um, or sorry, that's still coming in from some of that World Cup earnings. Yeah. Um, but what you see at the bottom there, that little blue blip is growing slowly. Uh, that's Under Armour, um, and those numbers are much more, that's, those are global. Those numbers are much more dramatic in North America. What is Under Armour doing right that you guys have to get right? Well, I, th I think what they have over us right now, now is that they're here in the United States and 90% of their efforts are focused on the U.S. The U.S. is 45% of the global yeah. sporting market. So they're here, they're relevant, they're, they're touching consumers Mark, every day. Can I mention that you are in the Hall of Fame of the University of Wisconsin at Green Bay? I think that is the coolest thing. Is that sports Let, or academic? I, I think it's both. <laughs> Let me cut to the chase here. Nike and under, what's it called? Under, under, under Armour. Under Armour are like these in America brands. Adidas are these effete people over in Germany that nobody <laughs> wants to wear. How are you going to change that? Well, I honestly, Do you I need what's who's the quarterback? Rodgers for the Green Bay? Aaron Rodgers. Aaron I was Rogers. at the game. You need Aaron Rodgers. You need Aaron Rodgers or somebody like that to build your brand here. We need more relevance with U.S. athletes. We Thank need you. more relevance with design. We need more relevance with the messaging. Uh, a lot of your competitors have sort of aligned themselves with fitness movements. Obviously, Lululemon uh, is with yoga. You've seen Nike aligning itself with local running groups. You, Reebok actually used to do this with the sort of the Jane Fonda uh, step aerobics movement that, Tom, I know you remember well. What, what movement is Adidas going to align itself with? Well, we're all about sport and athletes, and athletes train, and they're into fitness. So to me, it's really first about the athlete, and, and then it's really about this fitness movement. But first it's the athlete, then to fitness. You, you came to uh, Adidas from TaylorMade, um, and the biggest problems that Adidas is having right now, particularly in the U.S., are Reebok and TaylorMade, its other brands. Are, is, Re is Adidas finally going to wrap those brands into one big Adidas brand that's universally recognizable? No, I don't think so. We made a decision a long time ago. You can go mono-branded or multi branded and we believe that consumers have preferences by brands, and I think there's, there's opportunities to build those brands individually. Then what are you going to do to save those two brands, TaylorMade Reebok? Well, first of all, the golf business. I think is very different than, than the Reebok business. The golf business actually has declined by about 20% the last two or three years. The health of that brand is still very strong in terms of market share. So I think as we, when we're investing a lot of money in the industry to get more people to play golf. So that, that's a little bit different. Reebok is, a, is very, very final, is really pointed at fitness. And it's uh, CrossFit, UFC okay. fighting, all these different exercises. All right, Reebok making a move into CrossFit, Adidas making a move into Brooklyn. Mark King, CEO of uh, North America for Adidas, thank you.